Hey everybody, welcome to another Goodie Reader unboxing video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we're going to check out the Kobo Mini. It's just hit most international markets today. It's a 5 inch e-reader, so it's a little bit smaller than uh, previous models that Kobo has released. It has an 800 by 600 resolution and it runs on e-ink Visplex, which is an e-ink technology that's been out for about two years or so now. It has two gigs of internal storage and around one month of battery life. You have wireless internet access built right into this. so. It's very easy to connect up to the Kobo eBook store and purchase all of your content through there. Now we're going to unbox the unit, show you everything that comes in it, and then power it on for the first time. All right, so you can see on the back here, have a little bit of tape on both sides. Just use a hard device to get that open. Not liking the new cover art they have for the boxes uh, on the Kobo Mini and the Glow, and just not a big fan of it. Whoa, is that small? Look at that. All right, so let's take this out. Leave this till the end there. So you have the <laughs> the Happy E-Reader they've been uh, they've been they have on their new line here, and uh, shows you that it's, it's kind of indicating to you that it is small. There's a ruler. So this is one of the smallest e-readers out there. Uh, it, it first time startup instructions, plug your e-reader into your computer, use a browser, set it up, etc., etc. So make sure you read all this to understand exactly how uh, you're setting this up. And if you have any pre questions, um, you can go to kobo.com or uh, you can message us and we can help you through that. Yeah, in most cases, for most of Kobo's new products, you need the Kobo desktop software for both PC and Mac. Not only will this uh, allow you to easily load ebooks into your uh, reader, but if you do any firmware updates, in a lot of the cases, you need the Kobo desktop software in order to update your reader to the latest firmware. Welcome to Kobo. Celebrate with up to 90% off. So uh, there is a little bit of info here. Check this out. Might find some decent savings. All right. We also have the usual warranty information. So read this very tiny print to uh, make sure you know what's going on when your uh, when or if your Kobo has any problems. And here's uh, just some more information. And under here, we have a USB cable. And this is a micro USB cable used to transfer data and charge your device. So this side goes into your PC, Slate PC, tablet, or um, your uh, desktop or laptop. And this will go into your uh, Kobo to charge and transfer data. Now for the Kobo Mini. This thing is tiny. Look at that, almost got my fingers around it. <laughs> um, Looking at it head on, a uh, very small screen. Uh, let's just grab like a Kobo uh, Glow to put in the picture here, just so you get some sort of uh, some sort of comparison. Oh look, <laughs> look at that. Yeah, so you definitely notice the the wow. size discrepancy here. Again, this is uh, the newest Kobo Glow with a. Uh, Front light technology lets you read in the dark. This is more or less designed to be extremely pocket friendly as well as being available at a very respectable price point. You'll find this pretty well anywhere for under yeah. $100. Exactly. Uh, we're going to compare these uh, in a later video. We'll actually have a, a three e-reader comparison or a triparison uh, of the new Kobo line, the Kobo Touch, the Kobo Mini, and the Kobo Glow. So you can see here on the back you have the um, Argyle kind of uh, diamond weave pattern they always have. Um, it's kind of like, I guess, they call it uh, quilted back. We also have uh, the... Which is sort of different from their sort of original design. You much much wider diamonds on this one than you have on this one. So. Yeah, I would probably say I really do dig the new quilted covers on the back and a lot of the new e-readers. These will actually come off and you could actually put different color back plates on them. Exactly. Uh, nothing going on in the back, not even a hard reset button. You have uh, nothing on the left, nothing on the right. You have your status indicator light and your um, power button slash standby button on the top 
And on the bottom you have your mini, uh, sorry, your micro USB cable for uh, charging and transferring data. So it really doesn't look like that they included micro SD storage on this model. There doesn't seem to be any micro SD storage. And if we take this off, as Michael has uh, mentioned, you can take the backs off and put different colors on there. It's a little bit difficult to remove, but we'll show you real quick here. So most locations that sell these e-readers also sell the back cases as well. And they mainly did this to be uh, like a more family friendly device. So the kids could have their own color, the wife could have her color, and more or less it's, it's, it could even match your suit. And that's what they joked about at the Kobo press exactly. conference. Exactly. And you can see here we have our hard reset button hidden under the uh, back plate with all the certification stamps and everything. So that's where you'll find that. And uh, we will take off this uh, screen protector that comes preloaded on there and turn it on for the first time. Hopefully we have some power. Status indicator is blue, so we're gonna zoom in here and give you guys a closer look at the first time startup. So it was kind of funny at first, it had the sleepy face, and then when you turn it on, it has a happy face. I'm still looking forward to the a time when just everything goes wrong and it turns into a mad face yeah, or yeah. a sad face well, or something like that. Well, it's charging or something like that, yeah. Uh, we'll do a wireless setup here. When we uh, powered on the Kobo Glow, it uh, prompted for a couple updates, so um, we've changed our password to be pretty easy here for the sake of not typing in a whole bunch on these e-readers. Yeah, totally. So we're connecting to a full strength uh, Wi-Fi connection, and uh, if it's anything like the Glow, it might prompt us for an update. Yeah, I must say I'm a, I'm a huge fan of, and it's updating, but I'm a huge fan during first time setup, but whenever an update is available, it's pushed right to the device because nothing's more complicated than when you have to hook it up to your computer, use third party software, uh, have to download files from websites and follow, you know, basically three or four page instructions on how to load it in. This is easy and this this would appeal to anybody who's new to e-readers or just wants to make their life a little bit simpler. So what we're going to do is just pause the video when this updates and reboots and we'll be right back. Okay, what the e-readers done is install two different updates and every update it actually reboots your e-reader and it, what it basically did is for more updates so adding dictionaries adding a bunch of functionality and we've set up our Kobo account and it's sunk and it has synced all the purchases that we've made the whole process must have taken about 15 minutes or so uh, throughout all the updates through the syncing entering everything and during our full review we're going to show you everything on this device this is basically meet your reader so you can click here more or less get some very intuitive details on notes highlights Put it in the standby mode. We're just going to X out of this. So this is the main user interface. As you can see, it's very similar to the Kobo Touch and the Kobo Glow. Kobo's really done a lot to homogenize the reading experience and the main UI from device to device. So notifications, wish lists, you see it does have reading life so it has your awards and stats if you click on library this is where you can create custom shelves store any purchased magazines and newspapers and books you, of course you can load your own books on here you're not able you're not exclusively roped into dealing with kobo and you can see free ebooks so you can download literally over a million free books 
everything else. So during our full review, we're going to dive deep and show you the reading experience, how the ebook store looks, and everything else. So you can stay tuned to goodyreader.com for all the latest information, and make sure you check out our YouTube channel for all the latest videos that we do on the entire line of every e-reader that comes out. So for goodyreader.com, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take